In this video, we will discuss about the stromal cell development and progression in the, ca in the case of cancer. So in general, when there is no cancer, in the healthy patients, the stromal cells function is uh, to act as a connective tissue that can helps in the that can help in the organ functioning, and it can also helps in the reducing the stress of the organs. So, this is just a general overview what's the role of the stromal cells in the normal patients in the case of cancerous patient what happens in the early tumor stage is that there is some development of the cancer associated fibroblast but however they are not active they are in the quiescent stage and they are uh, within you can find them within the uh, or surrounded by the cancer cells that we can see uh, in this figure and after that, uh, several uh, after that, when the tumor progresses from its early stage uh, to the uh, late tumor stage, in between there is a stage where uh, some some specific conditions might have. There is some there is a uh, there is a stage where cells observe this kind of condition some conditions such as hypoxia inflammation angiogenesis switch and these things uh, might be triggered uh, might trigger and this thing will uh, trigger or might trigger the reprogramming of the cancerous cells and that reprogramming of the cancerous cells will lead to the activation of this uh, quiescent cancer associated fibroblast so this is the example that is shown here this is the activated uh, cancer associated fibroblast and this is the quiescent uh, fibroblast so and this uh, activated fibroblast uh, might also have different heterogeneity in the tumor macro environment because of the uh, because of the cancer progression is uh, quite heterogeneous uh, due to the different mutations might have occurred in different kind of cancerous cells that will trigger a uh, different reprogramming of the cancerous cells and that will leads to the different cancer associated fibroblast and the this cancer associated some of the cancer associated fibroblast categories have been identified in different cancers. Uh, for example, uh, this AP cancer associated fibroblast or uh, uh, immunomodulation can cancer associated fibroblast, myo myo fibroblast cancer associated fibroblast, and there are other uh, cancer associated fibroblast. And uh, one of the role of this uh, cancer associated fibroblast is to uh, to help uh, this tumor micro environment uh, towards immunosuppression and and also this uh, CAF uh, act as a physical barrier uh, to prevent this uh, prevent the immune cells uh, from immune surveillance and other things that might have occurred uh, here also is this uh, since uh, the cancer progression is a quite heterogeneous process uh, the it, it will develop different kind of endothelial uh, different kind of epithelial cells and these epithelial cells will have different kind of uh, characteristics some of these characteristics is to uh, help these uh, tumor cells in, in acquiring the metastatic uh, meta, uh, metastatic properties uh, and these metastatic properties helps the tumor cells to spread across one part of the body to the other part of the body and this is uh, some of the example that is shown here this is the tumor activated endothelial cells and these are lymphatic cells and these are immature endothelial cells and these are the uh, stock cells and these are tip cells stock cell tip cells are usually found in the normal healthy patients also however in the case of this cancers cancer patients some other heterogeneous uh, some other uh, development of the endothelial cells might occur because of the uh, mutations in the uh, cells there are some of and these are called tumor activated endothelial cells or uh, this lymphatic cells mm. so and in the case of this uh, fibroblast uh, what uh, will happens is that uh, these things will uh, not only help no, not only help in the immune uh, preventing the not only help the cancer cells from immune surveillance but it will also uh, help in the aggressive growth of this uh, pancreatic to uh, cancer cells it will also helps in the aggressive growth of the cancers 
and for example in the case of pancreatic cells this cancer associated fibroblast form a uh, desmo uh, is more, more favorable towards desmoplastic uh, uh, desmoplastic reactions and that will uh, generate a uh, fibroblast fib that will generate a uh, physical uh, fibroblast layer across these tumor cells and thereby uh, act as a shielding uh, from the immune cells of the host and uh, however uh, some of the disadvantages also because of that is that the uh, is that the nutrient supply of the nutrient supply to the cancerous cells will get reduced in order to overcome this uh, the there is angiogenesis switch that might occurs and that will lead to the uh, formation of new blood vessels so that um, nutrient supply of this cancerous tumor cells will be uh, maintained. If you need to understand more about this angiogenic, angiogenic uh, process in the cancer cells, you can go through our previous videos. And if you need to understand about more, uh, if you need to understand more about this trauma cell development and progression, you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description. That's all for this video. Thank you for your time.